train and get ready for baby number three. Why? I guess that's a good thing, right? Yeah. Um, it's quiet in Pittsburgh right now. Surprise, surprise. But uh, you know, I think uh, we're just ready to get started. You guys come in here feeling like you guys have something to prove, maybe. Not only what happened in the off season, and, but the way it last season ended too. I don't look at it like that. I look at it as it's 2019, um, and honestly, we just want to win a Super Bowl. Uh, you know, what's the past the past, and um, I'm ready to go with the guys we got here. Cam, you got here the year after they went to the Super Bowl the last time. Mm -hmm. uh, it's obviously now been a long time. It How is. do you describe your hunger for wanting to get to the Super Bowl? And uh, this is why I play this game. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's something I love to do. Um, and to get your name etched in the history is what you want. Um, and the only way to do that is to win a Super Bowl. Uh, you know, I think we have the right group of guys. And um, you know, this is why I come to camp. And you know, I train so hard in the off season is to get ready for you know uh, the grind and uh, going on this run. Cam, are you or maybe anybody else in the leadership group contemplating a different approach and reaction to last year? In regards to what? I don't you know, know anything. Um, I don't look at it, you know, I need to change up everything I've done, um, but I need to grow. Um, and that's that's fair for everybody, you know, everybody needs to grow on this team. Um, we didn't get the job done next year, but last year, but this year is a new year. Um, and that's about guys stepping up and improving. How can, can your defensive line get better this season? Uh, just being more consistent, you know, I thought we had a lot of good pass rush and a lot of sacks, but um, there's always room for growth and having more sacks. Uh, being more dominant in the run, um, you know, we had we tied for the lead in the sacks, and uh, I don't like just tying. You know, I want to win it all, uh, and I also want to be number one in run. Uh, you know, you look back at the the great 2018; um, their defense was unstoppable, um, and the way they did it uh, was just crazy. You know, I think they were number one throughout until uh, you look at their rushing. Rushing was like number two, um, so you know those are the goals set. It's about achieving those goals and more. Is Coach Tom has the pieces for that, to be Yeah, you know, I, I think we've added a lot of additions uh, that help us, um, especially on defense. Um, you know, and I think having the group mature, you know, you got TJ, you got Bud, you got Tuit, you got Hargrave. Um, and then you look for our back end to even step up more, you know, adding, uh, you know, Devin and adding uh, Mark in our, in our linebacker group. And then you bring a guy like Steve Nelson, uh, you know, those are all uh, good things that are going to be a recipe for success. Cam, Coach Tomlin, receiver. How much of a priority will it be for your defense just to get your hands on the ball? Is it the one big area of progress you can uh, make? You know, I think you say that and you say do it often. Um, I thought to begin the season we started off strong, right. but then we started to tread uh, towards none. Um, so I, I look at it as just to do it consistently throughout the year. Um, and the more opportunities for our offense is. Uh, just a greater return, you know, I think, uh, you know, you give our offense plenty of shots. They're gonna get seven points. So um, The best defense is always defense on the sideline. Kim, how would you uh, Characterize the difference between the chemistry in this team, or, you know, what happened in the offseason mm -hmm. to now? It's, it seems like there's a more positive <clears throat> vibe Man, I, I think it's always a positive vibe going into camp um, You know, only time will tell but uh, I'm looking forward to this group this is a no-nonsense group that's just ready to get, move forward and um, achieve our goals. Uh, we didn't understand where we fell short. You know, I think uh, at the end of November, um, we really lost some critical games, whether it was by you know, a turnover or not getting stops at the end um, or missing you know, special teams uh, mishaps. You know, those are all included. So we have to learn to you know, turn those into positives this year. Mike Tomlin received a contract extension. Your thoughts on that and what has he meant to you and what does he mean to the players on this team? First of all, congratulations to him. Um, you know, that's a big honor, you know, to be uh, Pittsburgh Steelers head coach, uh, continue to be it. Um, but, you know, he's been a lot to um, not only my success, but, you know, everybody here. Um, he pushes us. Um, he's accountable. Um, you know, he lets us know when we drop the ball. Uh, but he does it on a, a, a very personal level where um, he's not just going to you know, say to you, he's going to motivate you through it. Hopefully, uh, we got many more years together. Can what does it mean to have that? What he called team ball. How important is that mentality this year? Very. Um, you know, team ball is just you know 
all, all three sides of the football, you know, whether it's special teams, offense, or defense, everybody's just complimenting each other. Um, and that just means on and off the field. You know, uh, uh, having a good defense uh, doesn't account, account to anything without a good offense and the other way around, especially with special teams as well. So um, I just look for everybody to compliment each other. Okay, Cam, what is, the, uh, what is the most important item for you that you have packed for this journey for this training camp? Uh, probably my toothbrush. I don't want my breath smell bad. Yes, <laughs> Cam, uh, talking about Coach Tomlin, what does the mm -hmm. stability mean? You know, having a guy that's been here as long as he has, and then to have you know a, a contract where you know he's going to be here for a while. What does that do for the team? You know, I, I don't think you ever get complacent in that. I think you understand that you know he he know you know what he wants from you. Um, you don't have to play a, play a guessing game, um, and it allows you to focus on what you need to do um, and uh, address it head on. Kim, how much potential does this defense have, maybe when you compare it to the last four or five years, just talent-wise? You know, I, I think it has a lot of potential, you know, um, not only just the growth, but just adding some guys that um, are capable of a lot of different things. You know, I know Devin's a uh, first-round draft pick, and, you know, we haven't had one of those since Shea. Uh, but, you know, I look for Mark to be a component in that as well. Um, and then you had Steve Nelson. Um, who's had success uh, at Kansas City, and you bring him over here. Um, oh, I look uh, forward to really helping out our team. How much in that off in the spring did they hammer turnovers we need them? Yeah, off we're good yeah and I think, uh, you know, Thank so many times we, we think, oh, it's got to be a pick. Yeah. But it can be a strip fumble, and, and that's what we've been really stressing as a, as a defensive line and as a, a unit up front. Uh, we got to make sure we get uh, fumbles, and when they do occur, we got to put them Is it all puzzling to you, the amount of pressure you get on the quarterback? Usually you think that would equate to strip sacks, bad but, throws. But I think, I think it, it goes to and when, when it's happening. Um, if you can get a turnover in the fourth quarter, uh, it goes a long way as opposed to being the first quarter where a team gets a rebound. So a prime example of maybe Haynes' pick against the Patriots? Yeah, you know, when, when that happens, you know, it, the whole atmosphere changes. Um, and you look for more of those, you know, um, too many times we got into, you know, the Raiders game or, uh, you know, uh, New Orleans game where we had them in advantageous situations where we didn't capitalize as a defense and whether it's a turnover on downs or a turnover. So situational? Yeah, situational turnovers are just huge for us.